skin too. In the words of Snoop Doggy Dog, smoke weed every day. <laughs> now, J-Dog always, is known for the oven mitts pack, man. It's kind of his thing at this point. It's always a pleasure to watch uh, Lazy Boredom's Little Mac, too. Mm -hmm. Like, this place is incredibly safe. And it does so well in doubles, too. Just stock tanks the entire time. And Villager in doubles, obviously, is going to stay alive forever. Yeah. Winner's quarters, you don't really see these teams very far. Normally you see Stingers and Mechos, or you know, whoever else is going to be there. Immediate, uh, immediate uh, hydrant pocket there. And you oh, see wow. KH1 Comp 2 go immediately for Veen, like I'm trying to prove something here. <laughs> you know, Veen plays Chillager because he's a chill guy. He's not going to let the nerves get to him. He goes oh. for the, oh, pocket's the uh, hydrant. So Veen has a hydrant and KH1 Comp 2 has a hydrant now, no. I believe. V, uh, KH1 Comp 2 has put out his hydrant. Oh, wow. Because there's two on screen. But Veen still possesses the Hydra. Ah, beautiful, beautiful Galaga combos. Yeah, looking like Abadongo. Right? And Veen waiting to pocket that uh, Lloyd Rocket. Oh my Whoa, gosh, the back Page air. 1 Com 2 gets the back air. That kills way too early. I see what oh, you're saying the about Apple. this video. It suddenly got very cold in here. The Apple with Veen got it again. Veen is just taking these Hydrants. But now KH1 Com has one too. So we have possibly three Hydrants on the stage right now. Scary, scary scenarios. I oh, tried to drop the Hydrant, but got hit with the Lloyd Rocket. Now Veen has a Lloyd Rocket, and he's going to send out two, but they're going to both hit Lazy. And no! Oh, no! Lazy Ghost, I think that was a... Uh, no, that was an F-Tilt, but it still killed him. I thought he charged a Smash Attack and died, but nope. As KH1 Comp 2 and J-Dog pull ahead. And Chiller's off-screen, but he probably linked this back pretty easily. Nice, nice uh, forward smash uh, coverage there by both KH1 Comp 2 and J-Dog. Wow, this is going very well for them. Their doubles game is so strong. Yeah, they practice every day once uh, j Dog gets after school, so I hear. But Lazy's got KO Punch on deck. Does not use it there, though, on the whiff grab. I don't huh. I don't know. He knows more than me. Oh, gets hit with the apple, and it gets rid of the KO Punch, so that's going to make it really hard to come back. Doctors and KO Punches are affected by apples, it seems. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> J-Dog just hiding in shield because Little Mech's grab is very bad. Just throwing out. I mean... All four of these, all three of these characters have terrible grabs. And J-Dog has the key on deck. Will Veen be able to pocket it, or will it hit Lazy? The shenanigans going on in the screen. Oh, right it hit Lazy. Snipe. And Lazy's down to one stock while J-Dog is tanking all three of his still. That's and he's chilling at max rage. That's the beauty of Pac-Man. I mean, Pac-Man and Villager both spend so much time off stage or doing their own thing uh, charging, but they're going to stay alive for so long. With the apple hitting Veen. Veen's living, though. Good DI. J-Dog. Oh, wow. Lazy Boredom gets the side B on uh, J-Dog. Taking him out. suddenly, Percents are obviously very, very in favor of the red team. But suddenly, we have a very even match. Yeah, Veen's got to get back to the stage zone. Help out his boy. Oh, oh the KO punch. At 67%. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. And these melon drops from J-Dog. Just the Z drops on deck. Lazy Boredom gets back to the stage safely. <clears throat> Great oh, he, pl he plucked to the Hydrant. Smart move there from KH1 Com2 to even up the stock count. Lazy is at a very high percent, but is doing the smart thing and hiding in shield. The water pressure from the Hydrants affects L Little Mac more than others, obviously, due to his lackluster recovery. But it'll be interesting to see here, obviously, you know, at low percents, but if he's able to get a KO punch on deck, you know, it really doesn't matter anymore. But he is... There's dead? He's Recovery. making it back. Crazy. And Lazy Boredom can hide and shield against this matchup pretty well because both Villager and Pac-Man have horrible grabs. Uh, Pac-Man's is awful. And there goes J-Dog. Not great. Oh. Wow, Veen going for the under the stage fair. But KH1 Comp 2 is Villager, so he's going to make it back. But, you know, you had Lazy sniping on the other side waiting for that down smash in the two-frame window as well. Alright, looks like Veen is going to force KH1 Comp 2 into shield. They're trying to get him back on the stage so they can get the KO punch. Is it on deck? Well, it's on deck, but he's going to hit it. That's the question. Yes. Oh, going for the aerials. What are you doing? This is getting intense. It absolutely is. Because at the percents they are, you know, K21 Com2 can do a lot of scenarios and kill either Veen or uh, Lazy pretty easily. Where's he going? KO Punch. Oh, he didn't even need it. He down smashed. Wow, I, that had to be a tech fold. There's no way he decided to ride on that Lloyd Rocket. Yeah, that, that was... Uh... I would have, I would have swagged out so hard that I would have gone for the KO punch, but you know, Lazy's, Lazy's relaxed. 
and better than both of us. Oh, hey, it's Waka. What's good, Waka? Waka's wrong. Female Chillager, not a chance. Now, I know they like to go to Battlefield and do a lot of Hydrant Drops, and you'll probably see the same shenanigans on Town and City. Those are some of Lazy's more preferred stages, so I wonder if that mental game is going to come into effect with this counter pick. Uh, here we do two bands and picks of seven for the second game, too. You're going to see, obviously, the starting three of FD, Battlefield, and Smashville, and then included is Town and City, Lilat, Duck Hunt, and Dreamland. Mm, some thought is going into this. I know J Dog and KH1 Com2 like to counsel a little bit after their wins or losses to see what they should do differently in the next game. That's good. Um, you got to do that. Absolutely. And you know they have this you know this mental game prepared already between the two of them that I think that it's going to do them a lot of favors as well. I don't think that game was really decidedly uh, between one or the other. So we'll see if they're able to remedy this a little bit. A lot of people like to just rush into game two, but it's great to reflect after your first match. That can do wonders. And it looks like they're going to Battlefield. Maybe? Yep, they are. And here we go, game two. Lazy B getting an unfortunate startup on that top platform, forcing him to get down and land. Yeah, it's really interesting because I don't think that the that aspect of it went into the possibilities for this decision. But at the same time, you know, just the luck of the draw put him that high up. And let's be real, uh, any little mech does not want to be that high in the air. Oh my gosh, Vien almost got the double uh, up air on Cage one com 2 I don't think that would have killed, but Battlefield does have a low ceiling if you get two up airs on the top platform. But Absolutely. As as a Rosa main, I, I love camping that top platform. Yeah. Unfortunate uh, F tilt there by Little Mac onto Blue Villager. Oh, try to side me back on the stage, but getting stuffed by the the uh, orange. The hydrant is in pocket. Oh my god! Oh my god. gosh! Being for the hardest reason, there and almost took out lazy or took out uh, yeah lazy B. But lazy B shielded. Great reaction. Oh, he hit him with his own hydrant. Smart move. Not enough to kill just yet. Uh, very very close though. Pac Man and. Blue Villager at super high percents. And that's that just goes to show you that like these jank these Veen just killed Little Mac. Wow. Unfortunate, that's unfortunate down there. But these jank strategies can like backfire now that uh since the new patch, which I really like. Wow, what great a great tech from Kingdom Hearts One Com Two. Chain of Memories Two. Chain of Memories Two, yep. I didn't want to say the whole thing. I don't know, it's confusing, I'm having some dissonance here. Yeah. J Dog hanging on the ledge. Please be listening to down smash the ledge, but he's gonna get back up. If Lazy can hold small percents right now, this obviously is a very, very uh, maintainable situation for them. What wow, a Wow, what a rush beam. down. And no. he needed to do that because they were cornered. Like, Veen and uh, Lazy B were just cornered at the back ledge. So he needed to go for the uh, Hail Mary, and it worked. Oh, it did. Double Lloyd Rockets on screen. <laughs> Lloyd Rocket battle. There's so much going on on the screen at once. Veen is trying I... to shark with his turnips. Oh, my gosh. H1 come to gets the back throw. As a commentator, it's hard to track, obviously, what all is going on in this stage right now. But, I mean, it must be just absolutely just mind-boggling for these players to be able to maintain like their own position and their own item possession. And Villager is still living. Wow. The, the survivability of this character in doubles is absolutely ridiculous. Yeah, he's kind of floaty, so he gets more out of DI. Absolutely. Oh, Wonder... the up smash. But still living. And the up tilt, too, surviving still. Oh, the melon. Oh, Lazy catches it. Doesn't get any follow-ups, though. Lazy's got such good reaction skills. That's not And J-Dog almost killing his brother there, but he's living. 183. It's not uncommon to see villagers in this matchup, or in doubles in general, live to about 200. Yeah, and that's about, he died at 187, so. Hitting him with the strawberry, and that's going to prevent Lazy Borden from coming back. Yep, he knew it, and he just decided to come back to the screen as fast as possible. More time for the KO punch to charge, obviously. Oh, it's the bell, but... Oh, oh he's making it back. He's still Wow. Yes, but that edge guard was absolutely fantastic from J-Dog. Yeah. J-Dog is actually pretty good. Oh, yeah. People sleep on the kid, but, you know... His his online persona and his skill level are two different things. He talks a big game, but he's actually pretty good, and I think that's why people get so annoyed, is because they have to kind of respect him. We're going to see an interesting money match with him later. It's going to be G him and GQ for $20 and a controller. Oh, no. This game is... God, Wow. Such a different scenario we've seen so far. Nice text there from KH1 Comp2. This survivability of his villager especially is really, really key to their matchups. Being trying to go for the grab. Misses. 
I mean, what? What? That hydrant is in such a precarious Yeah, it's situation. just disrupting the neutral quite a bit. <laughs> that's what Pac-Man does. I mean, he's he makes you rethink what your uh, what your plan is going to be for the coming match. All right, Lazy Boredom is left to fight this battle alone. A KO punch is on deck, so that's going to create if a he good can, scenario. If he can get KH1 Con 2 out of there, he may have a chance. But One down to those all to take, though. He does not want to waste it on J-Dog. I mean, a stock, oh, a stock's it. a stock at this point for him. Yeah. Let's be real. I mean, I would take the 23% one, but at this point, he'll take just about anything. Well, Lazy's not giving up. He's still fighting. There's oh, gets the F-Tilt. All right. He's got a lot of armor on his moves. Some of the projectile jank is going to be a little bit... Uh, neutered against Little Mac, but at the same Absolutely. time, any kind of projectile off stage is going to ruin his day. We've seen that happen several <laughs> times so far. Oh. Gets the key. Did he pocket that as well? Uh, no, I don't think so. Okay. I, I, saw, I saw it go flying. I wasn't sure if he had the reaction for it. But Little Mac with Rage is an interesting beast, for sure. Absolutely. Key's on deck now for Pac-Man. It's a dangerous situation because if he snipes this, what oh, a great counter. counter. Counter's a great move for recovering mistakes if you were able to do it high enough. Oh, you did you see that option coverage? Oh! Yeah. I think I think the correct option would have been a jump there because they were covering the... Uh... They were covering all the ground options. Yes. He may have gotten caught by the F-Smash either way, though. That's a really tr that's a really tricky situation. Smart, smart move by the two of them putting him in that situation. Basically, he had to force the two zoners into a corner so they hit each other more and... There's zoners, so you're not really going to be able to do that. If it was like Captain Falcon and Cloud, then yeah, you can do it. But... So to game three we go. And Cage one count two for getting out of press start. Gun press start there, buddy. You got it. Just uh, just click it right in the, in the middle. Right in the middle. Yep. You got it. Or you can press A. Look at that. Okay, A. You got it, buddy. Just uh. Oh, while he's waiting, let's read the chat. Ah. Uh. Winter singles. Soon. I don't know. Probably maybe an hour. Probably an hour from now. Hopefully. Yeah. Interesting team results so far. Definitely. I'm going to go uh, win some money. Stingers of Mechos was a big upset. Pac-Man's Hydrant is a difficult attack to deal with. Yeah, not so much in singles, but definitely in doubles when you have Villager as well to deal with. Two, maybe three uh, Hydrants just flying around. Exactly. They should make the Hydrants, like, if you pocket it, you can't spawn another one. It's really surprising that it didn't get nerfed, actually, because yeah. I mean, as much as much of a nerf as they gave to uh, Villager. Back to a town and city this time. Um, I think this could benefit the Villagers. Maybe Lazy. I don't know. Lazy doesn't really kill off the top. He prefers to, you know, kill off the side or maybe get, like, a down smash edge guard. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. But this is one of his preferred stages, actually. Oh, cool. Yeah, it is kind of like uh, FD. Those platforms don't really get in the way. Unless you try to get on them. Yeah, I mean, half the half, half of the time it's going to stay as an FD style stage. Yeah, and that's not it. Whoa! Okay, KH1 comp 2 just says deed. I missed that. What happened? He just says deed. I don't know what happened. Oh, okay. He just uh, fell off and didn't recover. Uh, Mom Spaghetti, I believe, is what that tech was called. <laughs> <laughs> a plate full of the Italian. <laughs> Vian loses the Lloyd Rocket War, tries to recover back on stage, and he does. He actually uh, rides the Lloyd Rocket back on. Lazy's not going to make it back. No, but he lived not. a 151. He, he definitely was, exhausted that stock. I think he was trying to hit the Lloyd Rocket and maybe reset his jump. Or his upbeat, at least. Yeah, maybe. Which would have been a fantastic recovery, and he is known for them on this stage. Yeah, that would have been godlike. Catch one comes to his shield is really low, so I would put more shield pressure on him. But uh, he's kind of up there plank, or, uh, camping the platform there with his bowling ball. Okay, Twomcom 2 has a hydrant. Lazy B gets the F tilt onto Pac-Man. Pac-Man is going to make it back. Beam, Not just the Lloyd Rocket. gets the hydrant instead this time. Ooh, I like the jab combo from uh, the Veen to J-Dog into the hydrant that he had just played. That was a smart maneuver. Okay, Twomcom 2 only getting one turn. Quite unfortunate there. Lazy B is going to make it back. RNG Jesus is not on his side Oh, for the footstool from Lazy Boredom, but he's not going to make it back. He footstooled J-Dog and couldn't make it back. This is going decisively in the favor of Red Team right now. Yeah. 
J Dog's just doing a great job holding stock, but he tried to get the he tried to get the greedy grab, and Lazy's like, nah, son. Oh no, tech from uh, Veen, but you know he is villager, so he's gonna make it back. And J Dog hit edge cards right now. Good lord! Wow, they're edge gonna crap out of Veen. Lazy board him, gets the kill. Veen makes it back. Oh, though, down to the up, dude, true combos for Lazy. Great situation. Oh, for maybe that's why I picked Town and City. That's a cool. Oh yeah, that's it's that's true. A cool kill, yeah, I totally forgot about up B. Oh god, the forward smash. Lazy Boredom getting greedy with these dash attacks. I say that's Lazy's biggest flaw, is kind of gets greedy for some stuff, but in doubles it's really easy because, you know, everyone's doing unsafe stuff all the time. Yeah, it, un unsafe the meta. Yeah. <laughs> so scary right now, so many items out. Oh, uh, Lazy Boredom burns his jump, but he's gonna make it back, wow. And he rolls through the F-Smash, very nice. And then proceeds to catch a falling hydrant. That um, was unfortunate. <laughs> This is really impressive. Um, you're, we're going to see KH1, Column 2, and J-Dog most likely now in winner semis. One game away from being in the money and two games away from Grand Finals. Now, I would not throw out any Pac-Mans or any uh, Hydrants Oops. because Veen can abuse that. Absolutely. This is a bad scenario. Villager does not do well on a 2v1. Yeah, but this is winner, so we probably will see Veen and uh, Lazy again. Bell to down smash, very nice. But you're not gonna kill Villager that easily. Oh, gets the Nair! But he's gonna make it back, he is Villager. That's gotta be terrifying, though. Yeah. Villager or not, like, I couldn't imagine his being hit underneath the stage. Oh, no. He's a Villager main, so he's probably used to it. Wow, KH1 comes here. Almost getting the spike. Yeah. Oh, and there it is. Unbelievable. Good job to Moses and Jeremy. They've been doing incredibly, incredibly well in doubles so far. Both in North Carolina and out of today, which is the truly impressive part.